Landing an aircraft in unfamiliar terrain under poor visibility conditions may be one of a military pilot's most challenging tasks. Determined to provide airmen with every possible advantage in difficult missions, the Department of Defense is developing the Joint Precision Approach and Landing System, or JPALS. JPALS augments GPS to provide precision approach and landing information for military aircraft flying in poor weather or low visibility for virtually any mission. The system consists of both ground and airborne components. The ground system transmits corrections to participating aircraft which enhance the accuracy of the airborne GPS position. The ground system also transmits a set of coordinate data defining the final approach path. The airborne JPALS receiver determines the aircraft position relative to the desired approach path. That information is presented to the pilots on their primary flight instruments and can also be used by the autopilot to fly automated approaches. Unlike existing precision approach and landing systems, a single JPALS ground system can support multiple runways at the same airport. It can support different approach paths to the same runway. For example, different glide slope angles or approach paths with multiple segments. A JPALS ground system at one location can even support approaches to nearby airports within a 10 to 20 mile radius. In a tactical environment, the approach paths can be readily varied by uploading new parameters at the JPALS ground system. Different approach paths can be programmed to allow an approach of the day to be implemented in response to tactical situations presented by adversaries or if a portion of the runway sustains damage, the landing threshold position can be moved to a different point on the runway. In July of 2007, the Electronic Systems Center at Hanscom Air Force Base began developing a proof-of-concept JPALS ground system in a man-pack form factor. In less than two months, the capability was transformed from concept to reality using off-the-shelf components. The system is carried in two backpacks and can be set up by two airmen within a few minutes. The prototype system consists of two GPS receiver enclosures, a ruggedized laptop computer, and a data link transmitter. Once deployed, the equipment can be left unattended. In November of 2007, the prototype Manpack JPAL system was deployed and flight tested at the Federal Aviation Administration's William J. Hughes Technical Center in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Precision approaches were flown using the MANPAC system by the FAA's Convair test aircraft and by a C-21 aircraft provided by the Air Force Flight Standards Agency. The two aircraft successfully demonstrated the ability of the JPALS MANPAC system to support traditional Category 1 precision approaches Approaches were also flown with varying glide paths and with a displaced threshold position simulating a tactical scenario involving a damaged runway. The system provided consistent and stable guidance throughout each approach, with none of the signal perturbations often experienced with existing instrument landing systems. To demonstrate the ability of a JPALS ground system to support approach procedures at nearby airports, Coordinate data for the runways at Ocean City Airport, about 12 miles away from Atlantic City, was loaded into the MANPAC system. The test aircraft were then able to successfully execute approaches at Ocean City down to Category 1 minima using the JPALS MANPAC system at Atlantic City. Major Martin Towey from the Air Force Flight Standards Agency, who piloted the C-21 aircraft during the flight test, was impressed with the range of military useful capability provided by the JPALS MANPAC system. He commented on the system's flexibility, which cannot be achieved with any existing precision approach systems, and noted that the system's utilization seems limited only by one's imagination.